everyone and welcome back to the Sam and Billy show with me, Sam. And me, Billy. And today joining us, we've got a very special guest. I'm not sure if anyone could guess who it is. I think some <laughs> people have on our um, Instagram. I think people have been wanting to have you on for a very long time. We have got Jack Josser with us today, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, darling. The last time I see you was at the uh, In The Style launch party. Yeah, your launch party. You yeah. and your mum. It was me and mum, wasn't yeah. it? Do you know I was actually pregnant? That, well, I was, uh, yeah. Do you know? I knew. Did you know? I knew. Oh, you gave off pregnant vibes. Did um, I? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, because obviously you're a mum as well, and Billy, you was a bit like that. You just yeah, sort of had this vibe. Yeah, I knew. When, yeah. That night, it was a room full of women, and I was thinking... And I wasn't really showing at all, but I was like, this is so awkward. Like, I wonder if anyone's going to, like, ask me. But then I guess it's not some, a question you really no, ask, No, I would never have asked. Yeah. I just thought, well, maybe. It was just, like, a little thought in a my head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Somehow you just get that sort of vibe, don't you, of someone. I think I, I remember you saying to me, will you have more? And I was sitting there thinking, <laughs> what I want to do is say, <laughs> yes, I'm pregnant. But I, didn't. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'd love more. Yeah, you were like, yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you it. covered it up well though, really, considering in the style parties are pretty wild. I think they? as long they as you, like, yeah. if you just walk around with a glass of champagne or whatever in your hand, yeah. no one really says anything. Do you know, if you just hold one, no hold one actually one, knows no if you're one, drinking yeah, or not. As soon as you go, oh, like if you're if you're pregnant, trying to cover it, if you go, oh no, no, I don't want yeah, one. Yeah, you can't do that. People are like, what? I did slip though, and I left. And when I left, you lot were getting rounds of shots in up the bar. Oh, so I was thinking, I need to leave right, right now. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I did a full catwalk. It is. We always do go wild at those sort of parties. Yeah. It's good because it's like all. It's mostly all girls, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, I love your little in the style family. Like, yeah. just it's, it's been going for years now. You it know, is. Isn't it? You've been there for years, haven't you? I've been there. <laughs> I've been there for donkeys. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've been there for um, six. Six years now. That is crazy. Yeah, six years. But that is what I like about in the sub because they don't just like do one thing and then drop. Yeah. yeah. They're, They're very really, like, loyal work with on the their, relationship. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And also, like, same with you, like, Adam and Jamie are now, they're friends. If they, like... they get married, you're all going to be the bridesmaid. Well, <laughs> well I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> you, well, we Charlotte. You're wearing in the style. Yeah. <laughs> no, again, in the style, but it's girls as bridesmaids. <laughs> so it'll be Billy Jack, <laughs> Stacey Solomon, Charlotte. <laughs> bridesmaid collection. <laughs> oh, no, and then they'll make us bring out bridesmaids. <laughs> Bridesmaids. <laughs> oh no! Sorry. You know that's coming now, by the way. Yeah. Don't you? And yeah, Hindu and all of that, all that jazz. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is really funny. Um, so tell us, Jack. How's things with you? How's the kids? How's Dan? How's everything? How's life? yeah? Good. How's life? Life's good. I, I feel like you know you have your Christmas and your New Year, and it's all so chilled. I find, I've found it quite. Really, really relaxing, but just trying to get back into yeah. like, actually working, working and getting back, <laughs> getting into, back into like, the it, school yeah. runs and stuff oh, like yeah. that. It's like so. Who does the school runs? You or Dan? To be fair, Dan's really good. We split it. We do split it. Um, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, Paul does our morning ones. Greg and I'm does so grateful most for of that. mine. To be fair, <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> we're moaning about school runs. All <laughs> the girls do it. <laughs> we have like a little routine in our house. Yeah, it works. Know? for and us. Yeah, like, same. I get the kids ready. Do you do the same? Like, do you get the kids ready and out the door? Yeah. Like Paul, just be like ready to get in the car yeah, basically same. like yeah. do all yeah. that behind the seat and that, and that's, yeah, that's the hardest bit <laughs> well some because we we've got ella goes to one school and mia goes to the other so sometimes oh, we'll just take one each and we'll oh, just okay. go yeah, yeah it depends really but yeah he's good he's really hands-on so and they're just obsessed with him so yeah sometimes i'm like oh, they da daddy's daddy girls. has to yeah oh they want daddy to do it today yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's that quite a good thing. i actually find that rosie obviously i've got boy and girl and although Paul and Paul have like a lovely relationship, Rosie's always kind of hanging around Paul's neck. Mm -hmm. It must be a girl dad yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I like, suppose he's yeah, really, like, she's really into Paul. Do actually. you know what? He, I think Nelly, well, Nelly's quite similar. Nelly was when she was younger, really much like more around Greg. I think as she's getting older now, you know, like she wants to talk to me more. Or she's getting a bit more private, and she wants yeah. to talk about girls' things and. So maybe that's like an age thing though. Like she's yeah, I think eight. that. I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that's. So, I think you're totally right. Like yeah. Ella, she's yeah. seven next week actually, and she. Um, oh, much wow. difference between them. She yeah. definitely is more like she's more about me. Yeah. yeah. And for like her little fashion sense yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it must she's be like a little bit older. Yeah. 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 Where it's they so want to be like mini mummies, don't yeah. they? And like want to be like what you're doing and. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? That is really cute. So, yes, yeah, so you're saying work, so you're like kind of getting back into it, or is it all kind mm -hmm. of just. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, time. I don't know about you, but it's constantly, I do about in the style shoot every 
Two Honestly, three weeks. girls, I, I actually <laughs> say to Billy, I'm like, I feel Me like too. you do a shoot every week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot, isn't it? We do a lot of collections. But you know yeah. what? Sometimes I Keeps get a bit jealous. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm a tiny bit jealous because I think you get some really lovely glam pics. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that is On great. the day and off. I don't wear hair and makeup. Like, exactly. I don't do it unless I'm working or doing something. So mm. like, if I don't do it for too long, I get used to like the hair up, no makeup, and I yeah. become a different person. That ha I'm just like, oh, I've become the frumpy. Yeah. Oh, I'm in I'm in gym wear every oh, single day same. with bare minimum. Like it's just usual. But that's what I'm saying. Look, but at it's your nice to get glammed up. Yeah, and it I'm like, nice. actually, it's an excuse to have some really nice pictures for the gram. You both always yeah. look so glamorous. That is true, actually. Where we do do a lot of shoots, <laughs> we do get hair and makeup done quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but no. you get used to it. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, or when you do your makeup, you're yeah. like, yeah. Oh, that's not the same. Not the same with <laughs> yeah, it's not, that's the same. not the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that is very true. What, um, we've got actually a question on here, and it says about who, who usually is the wildest one at the end of the style parties. I guess that's aimed at everyone as a collective. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the wildest? I, do, I think I get a bit. It it's like mum's on the loose, isn't Mom, it? Yeah, it's it like, is. Just let your hair down. It's work. You, you're working. Work, yeah. Accident, you're like, it like accidentally always happens, yeah. I think. Yeah. Because you're like, wine, I don't really drink wine, but at them events, you all of a Yours, sudden, you have like yeah. four glasses and it's like, it's just a and different like kind tequila. of event. You let your hair but down. Also, oh, I close. think like, yeah, I was going to say, I think the circle, the inner soul circle, you, you all trust each other. So you can yeah. actually let your hair down and, have and relax just be and yourself have and get really drunk to without anyone judging. To be, to be fair, <laughs> actually your mum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Susie. Susie, 100%. Mum because always goes wild. Well, did mum get really drunk that night? But I left. Yes. I thought because she was yeah. already drunk when I left. Was, I was thinking, yeah. Sunny early. She was I, I actually got like part of the family. The whole family was like, I was like, can I be part of your family? I love you guys. And they were like, yeah, of course she can. And your mum was going, oh, so I love funny. my dad. Oh, don't. So <laughs> Imagine, like, you just know. All the stories. Imagine if there was like an uncut cut behind the scenes of like it would be good. Star Girls. Oh. Well, actually, Jamie is probably the most. Oh, yeah, Jamie. I was going to say, Jamie, because Adam's a bit more sensible, isn't he? Yeah, Adam. Yeah. Adam is a lot more sensible these days. I haven't seen Adam drunk in a long time. I just don't think you can tell anymore. No. Because well, some men are like, he doesn't Paul's change. like that. If Paul has a drink, like, I will not know if he's drunk or not. And it's really annoying because I give away straight away if I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, 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 my eyes, eyes go. My yeah. Eyes go. And I just, <laughs> yeah, like, like, everything gets really, like, heightened and, like, <laughs> yeah, over the top. And get louder and louder. <laughs> louder. <laughs> Paul just stays the same man. <laughs> so annoying. Um, so we've actually had so many questions on our Instagram, like, taking it back. I don't know if like, you know, we always get a lot of questions about Towie and yeah. I didn't do Towie for like years and years and years. So when was the last time you, you come off EastEnders? Like, how many years ago was that? Um, I think <laughs> it was like, Four years ago. See, so, yeah, yeah, look how quick that's gone. Because like, I so, feel like now, yeah, about like, four. you know, for, for I think for like the other, like a younger generation, they'll know you more for like in, being on on the jungle and well, obviously Queen of the Jungle, and then like everything else that you do now in between. Like you've kind of come in completely away from like an actress, really. It wasn't say. really like the intention, to be honest with yeah. you. Like it kind of just I left EastEnders and sort of obviously when you're on a show like EastEnders you're not allowed to do like any oh, yeah. influences oh, I was going to ask you any that, adverts no really? paid posts can't anything. do anything no because you work for the BBC so it's like it's it very strict oh, right, tax pays money. money you're not yeah. allowed to adv like they don't have adverts even on BBC like if you're watching it they don't have yeah, adverts of course. you're not really allowed to do that so I, I was under like for like eight years really really strict rules I was wasn't allowed to even years? I wasn't allowed to tag anyone If so I like no, I wasn't allowed to do any of it, so I had yeah. no clue that you could make money through Instagram. I had Instagram for fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I got it because everyone else had it. It wasn't yeah. like yeah, a course. thing that I really you didn't overly cared to be about like a even. Business in the I didn't, end. I just got it for my pals, really. You know, like, yeah, of I already felt like I was missing quite a lot because I was on EastEnders and I was constantly busy. C can you come out tonight? No, I'm filming till seven and I won't get back till nine, then I'll be tired. It's really yeah. intense. Or like, yeah. I just missed out loads of little things. So I was like, got Instagram and just used it for fun. And then when I came off, it just kind of blew up. It, and I really don't know how. It yeah, you just yeah. just had follow. I don't know. I just had followers. It I was think weird. Well, people, well, I think you're really likable as well. Yeah. Obviously, you was a huge character. I remember someone DMing me like, you do realise there's something called stories and you never do stories? <laughs> and I was like, what, the, what stories? And I really remember being like, 
Oh, someone gets. St- how do I use stories then on my phone? <laughs> and that sounds. Do you do t- are you a TikToker? Wow. Oh. I'm definitely too old for TikTok, but I do try. I oh, do that's try. Okay. It's really good. It is funny though, isn't it, with TikTok? Because remember in lockdown, right? Did I, I, done, I done I've a few. Same, me too, yeah. and I'm I done a few, but I've been <laughs> locked. It took me a whole week once to learn a dance routine. And I was like... <laughs> no, you was... No, I've done, done about done four... What? you done Carol Baskin and everything. Yeah, I've done about four <laughs> or five. I saw that one. You yes. I've done about four or five in lockdown since that first lockdown yeah. a few years ago. I haven't done any and I'm now locked out of my account and I can't get back in. So that's my TikTok days over. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was a pain. Yeah, it, it was. Is, yeah. It, I just, sometimes I watch, I, I do get lost in TikTok. Yes. yes. You can be scrolling, scrolling. It's like real we now said that. Like but it just goes over like my like head a yeah. lot of the time. And I, I do think, do you know what it is? It's editing it all. How do they do it so oh, good? I'm like, editing. I could do that. That looks fun. Yeah. Yeah. But it's overwhelming. And it's the time, how time consuming it is. And like, they do it all themselves. They're brilliant, I know. these TikTokers. Yeah. It's just it is new a skill. generation. It actually is. Like, it yeah. is a full blown, like you're saying, it's a skill. They they spend so much time making the video, they have to edit it. And then. Well, it's because some, for a lot of them as well, it is their job, isn't it? So yeah. that's become like, it's like when our kids are older, right? It's going to be such a different, like, what's going to be the jobs? What are they going to want to do? It's like a whole new yeah. generation. It's actually scary because if you ask kids what they want, I yeah. own an academy in Bexley Heath, which is like performing arts. Yeah. I wanted so to ask you do about like the academy, drama, actually. singing, yeah. dance. And like, even then, I'd ask, like, who inspires you? What yeah. do you love? And they're like, Molly May. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. like, okay. Like, that yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. She is Isn't inspirational. It? She's a, she's, Am I allowed to swear? She's a bad you bitch. Can swear, yeah. She's a bad bitch. Yeah. I feel like she's a bad bitch. Like she just knows what she's doing. She she owns her yeah. stuff. And that this is but the kids want to be YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, know, there's a new world of It is a yeah. whole new world. Then when you think about it though, like some of these YouTubers, like for example, like little Paul, let's say he's not allowed to have he's got um, a Nintendo Switch, he got one for his birthday. But there's this game that he wants to have, and I said no, because I think you have to like have limits. Um what's it called? Oh, uh, I know. Um the it's really like oh, I sound really mark. old. No, yeah, what is it? Arthur wanted it for his birthday. So like Fortnite. Grab- Fortnite. 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 Right. Oh, so oh, guys, you are little ladies, aren't you? Look yeah. At <laughs> oh, what's it called? It called? Now? <laughs> right. So he keeps saying about this game, and I was like, <laughs> How do you even know about this game? You're six, but he watches on YouTube. Kids playing it. Kids playing Fortnite. Yeah. That's weird. And I'm like, I don't get that. Then I have a look, and these have got literally tens of they millions. Make, they make. They're hundreds making, of thousands I of know. pounds. So I'm like, if you actually want to be a YouTuber, then be my guest. Oh my because they literally, I couldn't believe the subscribers yeah, and that these young kids have got just from playing computer games and stuff. It's, it's it's in, it is like it's mad, you have to move with the times though like if they want you do, to get into that's that. That's kind then of why I first got TikTok. I got yeah. it come out of the jungle and I was like, I actually didn't make my TikTok. My agent made my TikTok and yeah. started using it. And I was like, oh, I got TikTok now. And then we went into lockdown like a couple of months yeah. after that was the perfect, jungle. Perfect, perfect so timing. Like, oh. TikTok but actually, like, I've seen some of your stuff on Instagram only because I'm not on TikTok anymore because I can't get back into the account. <laughs> but like, I think you're actually really good. At yeah, that. you're funny. If I was back in day, I would have been a very good TikToker. Like that, it is a bit of me. But I'm just too old. I just yeah, and also like pre kids. Haven't got the time. You, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it the time like but the I do, I do get thing. it. I get it. Yeah, I could have got st- right stuck into it, you know, because it's all the different. Yeah. Uh, the different accents yeah. and wigs and things like that. It's fun. I enjoy all that. Enjoy like you it. could put some real effort into TikToks, couldn't you? If you had oh, the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you could really go for it. Some of them do, don't they? I'm still yet to see one of yours. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, you haven't done I think I've done a couple of sad little ones. You've nearly... <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning of lockdown, I'm not... No, you know me. I'm too geeky. I don't... I can't do it. You're really quite, like, shy, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah. Certain things Certain you things. Are. I'm not, like, as... I just, you know what it is, can't take myself serious. Not, which is like, obviously, I know you don't in TikTok, but sometimes. Like, Billy hates doing a, a, store, a story I can't talking talk to, to camera. herself. But like, you know, like, camera. you talk to, like, your followers a lot on your story, and you're, but you're really natural and, like, you're, but me, I just, I, I couldn't do it. I start laughing. I talk to myself, though. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you just you're, talk to yeah. myself. <laughs> I do. In the bath, I talk to myself. Do you? Yes, yeah, so yeah. you're just like quite, but you're yeah, yeah. natural. But I'm used to this. I sound like a. Do you think that comes from like, awkward a, your, like the background of you being an actress, or do you think that it's just oh. the way you are? Like when you say I could talk to myself, do you think it's because you're quite expressive? Yeah, like, like I'm really expressive. I'm yeah. very dramatic. And I do think that does come from. Yeah. You know, and I think that I was on EastEnders and I was like, I was able to like let my 
yeah. drama out, yeah. be dramatic and then go home and just crack just, on with my yeah. day or whatever. Like my emotions even, when I was sad, I'd be able to go on and scream and shout and cry. Yeah. And that would be my like outlet, a little, yeah. like, you know, some people like boxing, punching yeah, of course, yes. to get it out. That's That was my thing. And then when I kind of stopped, I, had a, I did have a bit of a, like a moment of... <gasps> I've yeah. got this emotion now inside that I'm not. That yeah, that you're not actually getting yeah. out. Therapy yeah. to you. Like, it was so good. Yeah. Like, do you, do you so think you'd, true, would you ever go back into doing acting? I would love to. I it's could see just, you in like a real it's so difficult, juicy though. drama. Yeah. I would love to. I would love to. But it is really difficult. One, kids. Yeah. yeah. And so like amazing. EastEnders, for example, was like seven till seven six days a week maybe oh, when they're older hard. then yeah, it would be something yeah. you could do then because it, it's a it's, huge commitment i think when the kids are our age it's so precious isn't it you kind of don't want to miss too much do yeah. you i know what you mean and, and then like shows west end shows they do eight shows a week no bedtimes when do you put your kids to bed yeah it would be, you have to prioritize it would be so don't you full on i would love to do it it's like one of the things that i never say never and i know that if something came up that i just could not say no to we'd make it work yeah 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 but I could just really picture you doing some like really amazing like yeah well, I would love to that would be cool it yeah. would be cool but it would have to be the right time you know timing yeah with the kids yeah. we have more kids no no that's just a no no what it's about like Dan a, no 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 it's funny because we actually ha- had like a new baby in the family. And I held her and I was like, I got that feeling. Because yeah. I, yeah. I haven't felt broody in a really long time. Like yeah. I felt like, no, 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 yeah. no. <laughs> for a really long time. And I felt the baby went, oh, oh no. Yeah. And I got that like feeling. <laughs> it went away. Yeah, yeah. you just had it for that moment. <laughs> that and then that you moment, go the baby and back. happy yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I've got two like now going to school yeah they're like you're so out of that stage me will be starting school mm. but that's like how i fit that's how i am i'm completely out same, of the baby stage same. and here like i go going again. back to bottles back <laughs> yeah. to the routine sterilizing oh, <laughs> sterilizing well you didn't never really had to sterilize did you i never oh, sterilized yeah. but i i, I, it's, I do think of like the sleepless nights and stuff but i think recently i was saying to billy i think i'm getting a bit of like pregnancy insomnia recently i've just hit six months and my sleeping now is not that great. And I do think, is that like, does it that prepare you I for think women? It I think it does, yeah. Because yeah. I'm a bit all over the place at night at the minute. It's like giving you that, yeah, preparation. For yeah. And, I, and I've got one of the kids in the bed with me all the time. So they're always like sticking to me like glue or they're hot or they're, they just lay all over you. Don't, and I'm just oh, like, yeah. Oh. It's exciting. And I totally get why people ask the question because I am still young and yeah. the kids are young and, yeah. I, and I get it. But I just think I'm like, I just, feel done yeah I just feel done and I feel really know, like yeah. happy and satisfied I'm not really that like I've got two girls we have Ted as well and yeah. I'm not I don't I just don't feel you don't feel like the incomplete don't, I yeah. don't I don't have that longing of like one more I just don't yeah pa- yeah that's, that's good though. Yeah. yeah. That's good, yeah. And especially you're if you're both on the same page. Yeah, Because sometimes exactly. one might be more than the other. Oh, I really want another one. Like well, it's perfect that you're on the same page. We've both had like moments of like he had it maybe like one a year and a half like well what if when they go to school we what and yeah. I was like do you know what like what if what if it's yeah. one of them things that yeah maybe we will maybe. in like four yeah. years time Who knows? I'll still be only 33 of yeah. course like, yeah it's fine we don't have to stress no. there's no yeah but like right now I just don't don't see it I don't really yeah you just feel child. happy yeah. content and that's it I, lo- I just love the, th- the thought of like going on holiday and like going with your little pals yeah they're all of an age there's that is you could just get up and go and do this have all the experiences no one gets left out no one has to sit yeah. but I just wanted to like it's so true enjoy enjoy it. with the girls actually three years so oh yes yeah, so you yeah, got similar six and three it. yeah I yeah. mean they I literally fighting like oh, really I had badly. The same with Nelly at the and I moment. See, my two aunts are bad. They don't fight that much. But I remember when we was younger, we used to fight. Yeah, didn't we? Nelly and Arthur. What's fight. the age gap between eleven you two? months? Me and Smoke for eleven months. Irish what? twins. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't but know actually, that. Irish twins. You speak about this a lot. Yeah, born in the same year. <laughs> born in the same year. You so believe? She's born January. I'm born Susie the se- December. Literally fell pregnant wow. three months after having me. Wow. Imagine like having a newborn baby and then being, and then pregnant. being pregnant. Like that's a lot. But then in a way you're kind of in that newborn yeah. rut so you might you might as well be pregnant it's all a blur it's all it? a blur it is all a blur mum yeah. said it was actually like mum thinks it was easier because we got quite similar nearly and Arthur two two and a half years between them and um, Rosie and Paul are just under two years just under two years so mum said like she thinks that age gap is harder than what what she had with us because she was just in that stage bottles nappies like and yeah. she was just at home 
like a, a com- like complete stay at home mum. She didn't yeah. work, so she didn't have that juggle. She said it was just routine. Yeah. And actually, like, probably was. Well, I find it quite difficult because Ella, bless her, she's seven. And she, like, she's her own little person now, yeah. you know? She wants to sit and she wants to do drawing, but she's very particular about her drawings. And she's oh, really, yeah. really good. And yeah. she takes a good, like, long time doing it. Mia will come over and she's three. Yeah. This hurricane yeah, she like is. Yeah. Destroy. She'll just destroy know. it. Yeah. And, like... Ella will be like, <gasps> yeah. And she'll get so <laughs> frustrated with her. That's what. That's where we're at. This is yeah. me. It's just have. coming in like a tornado, and Ella's just like, why did this game And it's happen? really <laughs> hard, oh, isn't it? Because uh, you, you is she want... the more sensitive one? Really Ella, sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you want to, you want to like sort of say to the little one, don't you? Like, come on. But then you think, oh, they're not. They don't really mean. They're, they're to tiny, be. and and yeah. I, then I try and think back to when Ella was three, and I'm like, no, no, you were a little wrecking ball too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's just grown up out of it now. But it is difficult. It does level out. That's why I do try and like, I'll have, we call it Ella and Mummy Day, where I'll just do something with Ella. Nice, yeah. And because I think that's really important that she doesn't feel pushed aside because Mm. it's so easy to, especially with with Mia's massive, big personality. You've met Mia. She, she like, she's so cute, but she's, 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 yeah, this big just old personality, children, and like. Ella's super quiet. Really, like it, it funny, takes like, a while to get be yeah. so different. But like they're the same parents, same upbringing. But they can just it be is weird. Yeah. Yeah. But it just goes to show, like you are who you are. Yeah, aren't exactly. You? Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's so true. I think that with my two, and same with your yeah. two. Like Paul, little Paul is like the the sensitive, the kind. Like I still, you know, cuddle him like a little baby. Whereas Rosie's so much more like independent out there. Like you're mm. saying, she can destroy games <laughs> and toys and things. But yeah. You know, it's so different, but... Do you think the second one is harder? Um, oh, I mean, Arthur has been pretty hard <laughs> work, but, like, he's... But uh, maybe, like, boy, he's, like, a little... Yeah, like, boy in a china shop, but he's... Um, yeah, that's what Mia's like. Yeah, and very strong-minded, though, Arthur. Like, you tell him no. I have now come to the terms that Mia is, like, her own little person, though she's three. Like, some people might go, like, no, you need to, like, rein that child in. Or you need yeah. you need to do this, you need to do that. Everyone's got... I mean, I'm sure you two, Mummy Diaries, people have got yeah. Yeah. things to say about your parenting oh, and that. Of course. But, like, I've actually come to terms with the fact. Like, I've always known who I was my whole life. I remember strongly at school being, like... I'm going to be an actress one day and like them s- s- telling me to take things really seriously. And I was like, why I'm going to be famous. Like literally, I just knew I was like, yeah. I'm going to be famous. So I remember telling teachers. So did like, you actually, did you, when you were younger, did you always knew you wanted to be an actress? Yeah, my whole life. Wow. Really? And I remember like, That's I didn't amazing. even have like, they say, what's your, obviously in school, <laughs> disclaimer, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, you have to have backup plans and stuff like that. But I never did. I was like, I'm not going to have a you backup was very plan. Yeah. I couldn't, you knew to what be you fair, wanted. I couldn't even think of one. I was like, yeah. I don't know what else, like what else will I do? I wasn't very academic. No. I, so I was like, I, I just can't see another route. Like what, I knew it would be something in that world, you know, like yeah. Yeah. whether it's even like working behind the scenes of mm. it, I just wanted to be in that world. So after school, so did you leave the school at 16? Yeah. Yeah, and then what did you do? I went to, you went to a to college. Yeah. Um, what, like I couldn't, arts? I couldn't, yeah, performing arts college yeah. where I, could, I couldn't I could dance to save my life. I never really did dance lessons. I did the audition and... Um, can you yeah. sing? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, li- I like to sing. I like to I sing, really but I just can't. I literally can't dance. Why, you should do Mask Singer. <gasps> maybe I have. Ah, maybe she's on the I haven't just left that. What have I? Let's put it out there. <laughs> no, but yeah, that sort of thing. I do, I do, I love it all, but I couldn't dance to save my life. And I did the audition and I like got thrown into this like full dance routine. And oh I was like, no, nah. mm-hmm. but I really wanted to go to the college. So, um, they like said to me like, well, you can't dance, so you need to go and do some <laughs> private lessons and then come back for the second round of auditions, which yeah. I did. And I took it really, really seriously. It's the first time in my life I've like, just I used serious. to just be really quite blase. About yeah, it, like, like what will be. Not, not, yeah, what will be will yeah. be. I just always knew. But that I took seriously. So I like really like tried and then got in and then I did a year there and then got EastEnders. Wow. So that's amazing. So you got into the college, it, so you had to do like auditions to get into the mm-hmm. college. And then did you have an audition to get into EastEnders or they just place you straight away? They, ha- I had, they had like a child agency at the college that I okay. was at. So I, I w- had to audition to get on the agency. Yeah. And then you get sent for auditions mm. and stuff. And ha- I know that you obviously, lo- like, because you're saying that is your passion and you always enjoy doing it. When you used to do auditions did you used to get like really nervous did you know did you like think i've got this like i never would think i got this like really? as much as i'm saying i knew i was gonna be it 
I, I, I don't know whether I just told myself that or I just didn't know what else. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. I wasn't yeah. into, I never thought, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Like, I think you always have that yeah, realistic goal doubt, yeah. Yeah. stuff like that. And I remember them, like, obviously EastEnders was absolutely massive at yeah. the time. Yeah, probably. And I remember massive. as well, like, it was a household thing that was in my aunt's house, my nan's house. Everyone used to watch everyone EastEnders, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, like, Christmas Day, everyone watched yeah, EastEnders. Yeah, cool. So... And I, lo- I loved it. That was it. around the time when we used to watch it religiously. All the time. My mum, yeah. we'd have it on in our house. We'd all watch all the, the soaps when yeah. you was on it. Yeah, yeah. my mum, mum watches all of them. Yeah. So I remember coming home and being like, oh, I've got an audition for EastEnders. My mum I went over the top already before I'd even done the <laughs> audition. She was so excited and I was like, rain it in, rain it in. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my dad telling my mum off, like, she hasn't even got it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Rain it yeah. in. Yeah. You're putting like too much pressure. My mum like, was like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, don't tell anyone that I've got an audition. You know how it is. Until you've got the job. Don't say anything about yeah, anything. So true. My mum's there telling everybody, literally <laughs> everyone. Oh, so proud. Oh, my Jacqueline's got an audition for her standards. Oh, she's got. I was like, <laughs> oh, but by the way, she's Irish. I don't know what that accent. <laughs> <is. laughs> and, and like she's go, she tells everyone. I'm like, oh my god. And then again, I had it in my head like I really need to get this because yeah, like you just now mum's told the whole thing. On, but also like I wanted it so bad. But mm. you know that thing where you. You, you don't, don't want to admit it. you want it. Yeah, yeah. as you much don't as you be do. Feel down in, you don't in want case. disappointment. Yeah. And you, you just got. To, what did you have to do in the audition? Sorry, I'm really interested because. So I, um, I planned. I, so yeah, I can't really read that well. I can read, but it's say if you gave me that piece of paper mm. now and said read it out loud. If I hadn't gone over it in my head, I'll panic. I've yeah. got like that kind of. I don't know yeah. whether it's dyslexia because I never got diagnosed, but it's like I look at the paper if I if I'm nervous or panicked, I can't read it. Like I have a mental block. Yeah. And the move words start moving on the page, oh, and I, really, so yeah. I panic. So I got there like about forty-five minutes early, and I explained and said like, could I get the script early? Yeah. And I uh, read it and learnt it off script. So everybody mm-hmm. else that was there had the script in their hands. I knew the words. So I'd learnt all the words. So you must have a really good like. I do have a really good memory. I can yeah. learn. I can learn words really really quickly. Wow. Um, and I then bet that was impressive straight away. To so, I, but yeah. I think most people like it's just preparation, isn't it? Preparation yeah. is really important. So I knew it. Um, I remember as well, like I learned in drama school that if, as soon as you walk in the room, it, the audition has started. So, like whoever's shaking your hand yes. could be part of the casting team. Okay, so you have yeah. to like go in and be, you know, yeah, yeah. You're, but like my, the character that I was was like this lonely. Um, coming of age sort of mm-hmm. she's an alcoholic she's got issues she's quite emo and stuff like that so she's quite lonely so mm. I was like right I, I don't want to be too in your enthusiastic, face enthusiastic yeah so I was like I just tried to I was came in quite quietly but politely and then everybody else was in the there's like everyone with brown hair every girl like looked yeah. exactly really? like me they like, had like a look yeah yeah like eight of us I was like, okay, we're all here for the same part then <laughs> <laughs> but they're all chatting away to each other and I remember thinking don't talk to me because don't talk to me because yeah. I remember it drilled into my head that like people are casting you they want to see the character so mm. I, w- I made sure that I was just like in the corner on yeah. my own so every time because I was early every time they'd come in and pull somebody else I'd still just be in that corner and yeah. I'd be so that was kind of my plan in my head what I was doing and then I knew the words and we filmed it we'd literally go and you read it there there's a camera there filming you you read it once maybe twice and that's it no and then I think one more audition after that and then a screen test which is where you go in on the set yeah and I was like well, that's <gasps> surreal yeah but that was so oh surreal because you haven't even got the part yet but you're on the yeah. set and I was like so you're like a little little dream of what it could be yeah. to be in EastEnders and you're like oh my I walked past I remember walking past Whitney and texting my mum like I've just walked past Whitney Dean I was so <laughs> excited and then I, yeah, I that was surreal even being on the set it was amazing like, and I got to like do a screen test with Jake Wood who played my dad yeah, yeah cool and I was like ooh it's Max Brannan yeah. I saw Max Brannan the other day. How random in a hotel <laughs> with his family. <laughs> really? Yeah, he doesn't know oh, me. I don't lovely, know him. Lovely guy. I just really, saw really him nice. with his family. And his whole family is so nice. With his wife and yeah, two older kids. Yeah. Yeah, I see them the other day. It's so weird because they were, I mean, they was tiny when I, <laughs> I knew Yeah, him. now like, they're like, like yeah, they're grown. like full teenagers now. Yeah. It's weird. It's really <laughs> weird. But yeah, and then that, that was it, screen test. And I saw um, Barbara Windsor. I was like oh, sitting yeah, next to her. Perhaps. And I was getting my hair and makeup done. And again, I had never had any of that done. I was only 17. Yeah. And I looked at her and she went, oh, welcome to the family. Aww. And I was like, Ooh, I haven't even got the job yet. And she said, welcome to the family. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was so just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was then I started really wanting it. Like the pressure that I put myself on. I was yeah, like, I really what like this job. Like, like, what was the pro, like pro process? Like how long did that with, take? Like with the auditions, the it was really quick. Yeah, it was really quick. Sometimes it can be quick, like longer. Mm. It, it depends. Sometimes yeah, I think sometimes it can be a really really long time before you know. But mine was really quick. Yeah, I was wow. filming the when next you got Monday. The call from your agent. <gasps> yeah, what did you say? What, what did you? It? Yeah. Well, I really panicked then. I like I was so excited, and then as soon as I put the phone down, I was like, I don't want to do it. Oh, I'm actually really scared because I never actually worked before. Yeah. I used to so find it fun, but I was like, yeah. hold on. I don't know what I'm actually doing. Yeah, like you've actually and I'm going to be with these. Talk about real, like throw you in the deep end. Yeah, straight I'm going to be with these real amazing yeah. actors. I'm going to yeah. be straight in there. I'm doing it on Monday. I start Monday. Like I, I was like, started really getting scared then. I was also replacing a character, not a new character. Yeah. There was a Lauren Brandon yeah. before me. So I was like, everyone's going to hate me, which they did when I started. It was like, who's this new Lauren Brandon? Because no one likes change, which yeah. I totally get. Oh my gosh. Yeah. When yeah. you watch a show and someone changes, it's jarring. It's like, yeah. oh, that, that's takes not, time. That, yeah. that's yeah, not Lauren time Brandon, that's not her. To, yeah. So I was like, oh, and then all the, all the negative thoughts started popping into my head. Oh, I'm actually going to be t on telly. Like, oh, yeah. oh <laughs> and they actually did hate me for like about six months, like, it was awful. But what but a so huge much fame, job. like, like, sorry, Billy, yeah. it's another question. Like, so when she was obviously thrown into EastEnders and you was such an incredible character, like, I always remember your storylines. I was so lucky. You yeah. was you had some real strong storylines yeah. on your own as well, like standalone storylines. You must have been around that era and time. Did you get like, was you getting, you know, hounded? Like, you must have had mm. so many fans. It was actually crazy. Crazy, like, I like do remember, like, I mean, I'd never really thought of myself as famous because, like, but like, literally, before I, when I got the job, I, I thought, I didn't even know you got paid. I remember thinking, <gasps> when they told me that I got paid and I saw yeah. how much, I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna do this for free. I, yeah, <laughs> I would have done it. No, but yeah. I would have done it for free. Like, yeah, that's course. how much I love. I didn't even know. And then, I didn't really even clock that people was gonna like recognize yeah, me. Like I didn't, you don't really think about it until it starts happening. I first thought it was so cool. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, I loved it. Yeah. I was like, oh my, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yes, you can have a picture. <laughs> I loved it, like I really did love it. But it, like people were intense. Like the fans of the show were intense. So if yeah, your character does thing. something wrong. Yeah, yeah they, they would, take would it they, personally. Would they oh, believe yeah. that was, like yeah. when they see you like out and about in the street, would they sort of see you as, your character oh yeah. Than, yeah like my character was a bit well she was a lot of things but she was an alcoholic yeah you know? so i'd always get i mean I, if i was out on a night out i'd get so many drinks bought for me so many <laughs> Wait, she loves a drink come oh on Lauren, God, do no. a shot with us and i'd have to like pretend to do the shots throwing shots no over my way. shoulders i couldn't keep up with everyone but i also didn't want to let this like persona down or yeah, like yeah you were because yeah. she was like the fun right. like one that danced on tables and stuff and i like wasn't really that yeah <laughs> but i was like okay. <laughs> i didn't want to like disappoint so i yeah, try yeah. and get <laughs> Try and get involved. <laughs> you probably think you're doing younger now. You'd be like, no, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. But I, I wasn't like that, wasn't no. I? No. I would just Back take, then, take the drinks, like, you yeah. take it. Of course. Um, and like, if I was rude, if I had a storyline that wasn't wasn't ideal or a cheating storyline, something scandalous, yeah. I'd get people like in, mad, in the shops like. or, oh, you you be nice to your, net. you be nice. Like, I'd get told off by oh my gosh, old yeah. people <laughs> just telling me like what people to do. People just think like that. Don't speak you. to your dad like that. Use the way you speak to him and I'm like, Oh my God. It's just a soap, but People guys. do get so invested into it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, well, that's the thing. With like our British soaps, people, uh, so most people that have watched them have watched them their whole life, aren't they? They're fully invested. Yeah. Well, like you're fully faces that are in their, on their tellies four times a week. Yeah. And like, you know, when the character dies in it, it's like actually heartbreaking when yeah. you watch a family. Like I know when I left, like when we fell off the roof, I loved watching people's reactions to it because like no one knew it was coming. Yeah. A lot of things got spoiled. Like, yeah. you know, you had magazines that did spoiler oh, alerts yeah, and stuff course, like that, but yeah. that one was kept secret. So on Christmas day, like no one knew we were gonna fall off the roof. Wow. And then we both like, both sisters literally just dropped and fallen off the roof of the Vic, which was amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. and no one knew and like, it went viral people sending videos of their reactions to it and that, that was one of the moments i was like that is amazing yeah like yeah people really just screaming yeah. at the tellies and crying and oh my god it was just yeah. crazy yeah. and that was the first time i when i watched it i was like because <gasps> i was leaving did you used to watch every episode um it was in not really 
I I did like sometimes if there was something I was really proud of or or, yeah. or curious, I would watch it back. But sometimes you get too invested in it. Oh, I would have done that differently. You've won awards, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember actually. I actually won an NTA. Yeah, best newcomer, which was amazing. And wow, I remember looking amazing. down and seeing people like Simon Cowell and <laughs> Cole Scherzinger, yeah. like all clapping me, and I was like, Wow! Oh my yeah. God, I'm just Didn't like a little girl moment. from Bexley. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just couldn't believe it. It was mad, actually mad. And when Michelle Keegan original. left, I got sexiest female a couple of times. Oh, Woo-hoo! well done. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I had to wait for her to leave, though. You know? Yeah. She was oh, running when is she for going? Years. When is she going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's hilarious. But, yeah, I got best actress as well. I was really lucky. Like you said, I got given so many amazing opportunities. Yeah. yeah. I was and also, in really back, you were young, but it was quite a short amount of time. So how long was that? Seven years, did you say? Seven, yeah, eight. seven, eight years. So think how much you've achieved in that amount of time as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. And you're still so young. How old are you? Same age as us? It, I'm 29. Oh, so, I oh, know. You're, bit, you're still in oh, your 20s. Your 20s, yeah. <laughs> and our 30s now. I know. I'm turning 30 this year, though, and I'm a bit oh, panicked. Yeah. Oh, I'm, having a bit, I'm having a bit of a moment. What are you oh, going to yeah. do? What are you going to do to celebrate? When are you 30? In October. Okay. So, what are, you, what are your plans? I've planned, I've booked a holiday. I want to go to Dubai, like, with my whole family. Oh, nice. Lovely. So, we're going... That's a perfect time that. as well, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It was really Weather's nice. Good. Um, and then yeah, I don't know, maybe a party or party, something. Yeah. I, I was thirty in lockdowns, and we're still. I still need to do we're something. We're still, yeah. I'm thirty one now. now. I think it's gonna be like thirty plus five. <laughs> well, that's when we get to have a party. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm pregnant. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Did you have that moment when you were thirty? Like, um, oh. I actually, coming to think of it, I was really emotional my thirtieth, and I think I. I actually spoiled my own birthday. <laughs> Through tears. <laughs> For, I actually spoiled my own birthday. And I don't, I, I never thought I would do that. But I I actually remember like the build up and then I was getting all like messages from friends and family. It was proper lockdown as well. So it was like a bit of a tricky one. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was yeah. really emotional. I don't know why. I don't know if it was happy tears, sad tears that I wasn't with everyone. I don't know. It was just a bit weird. I think it probably, that must have been awful. Yeah, it's it was such just a, a big, big, everyone builds up the 30th, 30th don't they? And then yeah. you're on your own. Yeah. And like, just, just before in the January, really like you birthday. had the best, Billy had the best 30th, right before lockdown. Like, this big party, everyone was there. And not because I didn't have the party, but I just, I don't know, I felt a bit weird. But well, now... it was weird because we couldn't celebrate how we would Yeah, have, we didn't we celebrate. we had so many plans, didn't we? And obviously we couldn't... We haven't still really celebrated. Everyone says, like, when you hit your 30s, like, you, you really, like, find who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were talking about this earlier. Do you think, yeah. that, do you think that's a oh. thing? I, I, do you know what? I am... I actually am excited for my 30s. I know that I'm already yeah. in it. But what my thir- I was 31 in December. I think that this is going to be, like, a really great 10 years. Like, I don't mm. know. I'm really looking forward to it. I think, like, in your 30s, you know, like we were saying, like, in your 20s, it's like... Even when you become like a parent, ki- like kids, like obviously we all had children in our twenties. Like you sort of still like want to go out. You got you, you know like you don't really know where you're going, what's going to happen. Then I think we get to thirty, you feel a little bit more settled. Settled, almost. yeah. And you feel like and like you don't let things bother. You. We were saying like we don't. Yeah. Let, I don't let things bother me as much as what I used to. And I don't. I'm not afraid to say no sometimes now. If someone's like, oh, we're doing this, or can you come here and invite you here? And sometimes yeah. just like I think back then I used to try and do everything and Every people please yeah. everyone, mm-hmm. like my agent, my friends family your mm. partner and now it's actually like no i'm actually a bit selfish and do yeah. more for me like yeah and you don't really yeah. care about it as much i get that yeah and like work you know it's, it's i think now which is quite nice i found like a nice balance now with the kids and work obviously it's family, so hard isn't it that, it, that yeah that yeah balance. and i'm so grateful so for paul because obviously i wouldn't be able to do half the things i do if it wasn't for us being like a a uh, team, team, which I, yeah. I kind of get that from you and Dan as well with the, mm. like with your kids. Oh yeah, definitely. You, you, you have to be a team. You have to. Be able Otherwise, to get it, it, just it just wouldn't, wouldn't be possible. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be possible. And you have to think like you need so much, but like the support that you get support. from someone as well. Yeah. Not even just like yo, yeah, picking the kids up here and there. It's like the actual support, mm. like the act- oh, you're doing a good job and that. Yeah, kind of thing. like you need that as well because it's cool. such a like weird, the weird little yes. world that this that we we live it in. It really is. Unless you're in it, you don't really. Get it. Get Some it. of the like, Instagram likes yeah. can make you feel depressed and you have to pinch I yourself know. and go, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. come on. Yeah. Just an Instagram. Sorry. I really liked your post you done like it a while like ago it, yeah. about Instagram likes. You've done a video. Yeah. And everything you said I was really true. It. And it's like... It was about like, because sometimes you've got a business that you're like, put, you, you put mu- your time and money yeah. into. Mm. Sometimes you feel a little bit embarrassed to even push your own brand or yeah. you feel like you're doing too much or giving too much and annoying people and stuff. But it's like, no one else is going to do it for you. You have to mm. like... Yeah, it's so you have true. To, you have to just do it. You've got to stop caring about what other people, people yeah, think. It's absolutely. difficult. 
and you this like the world that we're in it's so, so true weird. and i also sometimes get a little bit like you don't want to be showing off in a way in a sense do, do you ever feel yeah. like that mm. like you think you've got your businesses and your brand and you want to push it you want to make it successful but there's also that other side and it's like oh is this am i going a bit overboard here or, or you're always questioning yourself with social media well i had you? a bit of a wobble because we've just launched in the style yes. home and i had a bit of a wobble like uh, I'm just doing too much. Like, yeah. I'm yeah, doing I've, too much. Yeah. I've got a tan range. I've got makeup. I've yeah. got... I've got Clothing. in the style. I've got in the style home. Yeah, but you I've know got what? a jewellery and I'm like... But then I'm like... You're hustling. Who would say no? Yeah. yeah. Number one, <laughs> course, who would yeah. say no? You'd be stupid to. But number two, like, it's stuff that I love. It's stuff that I like. Yeah. Like, I wear my tan. I'm wearing it right now. Yeah. I wear it every single week without fail. I wear it all the time. Yeah. I, I'd use everything. If I didn't, I'd get it. Like, I totally, I'd think mm, it feels a bit false. It feels a bit fake. Of course. I think that's the mistake. Not the mistake. Listen, it's all amazing opportunities. When I was younger, like, first sort of coming in, like, up into fame, like, of Towie and stuff, I, we used <laughs> to take all the jobs. All the shoots, all the jobs. And I <laughs> yeah. think, like, as you get older, now we're all, well, you're not quite in your 30s, you do kind of work out the ones that you do really like. And it becomes easy because you're not just, like, pushing a product. It's something that you genuinely, like you're saying, you're with your tan. And I think the same with, like, my kids' bath time stuff. It's easy for me because I love the brand. And, yeah. and I'm bathing my children every day with the product. Like, it sort of, you get to that level where thing. you know, you I'm, can say no to things. Yeah, but yeah. that is that it. You, like, yeah. I think now, like, obviously we are all fortunate enough to be in that position. It's taken a while to get there where yeah. you actually can just push the things that you really enjoy and that but you But you're like right about the hustle, you know? Like, I was on EastEnders for eight years where you got a set paycheck every yeah. week, you know? It was a set paycheck yeah, and I didn't have to do anything else. It was my comfort blanket. It was what I knew. Then I just wasn't. There's no such thing for me for as maternity pay. So when I had kids, I had to leave and I had to do magazine covers to make money to yeah. feed my kids because I had. Once you're gone, when you're not on the show, mm -hmm. you don't have money. Yeah, done. That's it. You're yeah. not paid you, anything else. You need to go out there now, and make a new. I have to. Yeah. I'm going to have to do a, like yeah. a shoot. People go, "Why are you selling your soul?" Like, I'm feeding my kids. Yeah, yeah. it's a difference. And I'm not embarrassed. I'm not ashamed. There's been times where I haven't had money. Before I went in the jungle, I was struggling with money. I had mm. to sell my house. Yeah. And then I went in the jungle and had amazing opportunities. So I would never, ever, ever look at somebody and say, "Oh, they're not. They're not hustling enough." They're yeah. all. Yeah. You. You have to. You have to do it. You got to do. You got to no do. No one's going to do yeah. it for you. This episode is sponsored by Katie Loxton, who are the go-to online destination for beautifully personalised handbags, accessories, and gifts. And with Mother's Day just around the corner, it's the perfect place to find beautiful gifts. What are you getting mum this year, Billy? I was looking online and Katie Loxton do have some really lovely things I think mum would like. They've got gorgeous candles, this mm. lovely reed diffuser set, hand creams. And what about that weekend hold all? They've got one out in sage green at the moment. And I've also seen they have this um, green kind of blanket scarf that matches it. And we can get it personalised. I think she'd really like that. There is so much to choose from. Also, Katie Loxton are offering a special treat for all of our listeners. They're offering exclusive 15% discount code for all their Mother's Day gifting if you use the code SAM and Billy 15 in capital letters. And don't forget, they all come beautifully wrapped with a free personalised gold bow bag. So visit katieloxton.com now and use the code SAM and Billy 15, all in capitals, for 15% off. We, we had a... Um, I can't remember what it was at the Q&A I sent the other week and it was about accents wasn't it oh, and yeah. I, I can't do I'm useless like no one should ever <laughs> ask me she's really good but she went really shy no. I'm not that good with accents oh no. really I, I thought we was going to I thought I you was going to be I can say certain like, words in certain accents it's weird like that, uh, there's some that I absolutely cannot do like I can't do Geordie to save right we've got no, a few on here can you do Geordie no right, wait, can we, wait, can wait, 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 wait <laughs> I'm so words. See what I mean? I can do right, let, let's let's see. Let's try. Right. So this is Scottish. Um, oh no! I can't can you Scottish. say welcome to the Sam and Billy show? In Scottish? <laughs> no, I Scotland. can only Scotland. Yeah, I can only Sc say like <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Scot that's quite good. No, I can't do that. Okay, so. right. Liverpool. <laughs> I'll have a cappuccino with no fat milk. Liverpool Scouse. Scouse, yeah, isn't it? I'll have a cappuccino. I'll have a cappuccino. Yeah, that's quite good. With what? No fat milk. I'll have a cappuccino with no fat milk. Yeah, that's a good one. That's good, well done. American, so, oh my God, the Sam and Billy show is amazing. 
Oh my God, the Sam and Billy show is amazing. Oh, that that's is really, really good. good. <laughs> I like that. Sounding like one. a different girl to this girl, sir. <laughs> and Australian. Um, hey there, I am the queen of the jungle. Hey there, I am the queen of the jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, that one. Well done. That was you as much. Wait, better where's us. Billy? Where's yours? Yeah. <laughs> Billy, come on. We need the Scottish one from you. No, no, Scottish. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> One way. Everything I do just sounds Irish. I Come can't on, Sam. I can't. I can't. You know do the, I can't. Do, the, do, the, do Irish. Do the, do Say the Irish. top of the morning to you. <laughs> top of the morning. To you. I can't. <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Good stuff. Accents are like the worst thing. If anyone, oh no, it's just not me. <laughs> right, anyway, so we've got this part of the podcast where we do ask us anything. So we asked our listeners on Instagram for some <laughs> questions. I haven't actually looked at these. So they could be a little bit random. Um, right, okay, first question. Um, what is your favourite fashion look? I like winter layers. I, yeah. I, I don't get me wrong, I do, I do love spring, summer, but winter when we start getting into like cozy, cozy, yeah, cozy. layers i like Knitwear. to be layered up always definitely um are you still best friends with caitlin jenner and <laughs> if you could hang out with any other kardashian slash jenner for the day who would it be i'm not best friends with caitlin jenner <laughs> however i do still have her number and she did call me during lockdown oh, that's oh, she's she's really that's she's nice, a really lovely yeah. person um and i do think she's fantastic and it would be kylie jenner because kylie, i love her yeah. with all my heart how did you come up with the idea behind your hair and skincare brand, Nixie? Um, how did I come up with that? Well, basically, someone said to me, you should always do a business in something that you feel like like is missing in your life or your routine. Yeah. So that's how it come, ag- come about, yeah. really. I've got, Ella's got like really mad, crazy, long, long, yeah. long, <laughs> thick yeah. hair. Yeah. And bath yeah. time for me has always been like a bit of a stress. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> really badly. <laughs> um, and so it's just, it's just one of them things yeah. that I was like, that was what I need. Something that I can use, that my kids can use yeah, too. Like skincare funny. that, mu- yeah. that because obviously you know what it's like when you've got, especially little girls, they want to use all your makeup, all they want to use everything. Ways. But yeah. it's got like stuff in that you wouldn't want them to put on their like course, delicate, beautiful course, skin. So yeah. I wanted to create something that they can use. Yeah. It's in a pretty bottle, but I can use too. And we really enjoy it. We use it together. Yeah, we do nice our little idea. like spa moments oh, together. You know? yeah. yeah, it's really nice. That is really lovely. That's so sweet. If you could play any character in any film, who would it be? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, what kind of films do you like? Are you more like... <sighs> I like... It's difficult, actually. I would Chick- love to have been in Harry Potter with all my heart. Really? Like, really? I would love to have been in it no so way. badly. Yeah. I never got into Harry Potter. Me neither. No, it's just the best. Is it really? really? It's yeah. just the best. I knew I should have watched them over Christmas. You should have. It's iconic. Yeah. And I would love to have been Hermione. But, I mean, there's no better girl Hermione. for the job, so. Yeah. <laughs> She's good. She's good. She's good. So Hermione. That's Hermione, Hermione, yeah. And last question. It's hilarious. Have you ever accidentally broken one of Dan's Lego masterpieces? Guilty, <laughs> not that he knows her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a few times. I think they're very, very, very sensitive. Like if you touch, there's some of his Lego that like actually works and moves oh, really? around like a roller coaster that, wow. that actually moves. Yeah. So like I, wow. I, I um, <laughs> this takes, he takes this very seriously. Yeah, it's that quite Like he end. takes Can I just ask very about seriously. This conversation with Lego because I do think mine are too young. Paul, big Paul ends up just making them all and it always gets destroyed. Is it like a setting spray? There is. Oh, or there you is. can use hairspray. Oh, what? But because like, yeah, like it's, it's so delicate. Pink. There is, there is and like, he, like it's like almost like glue, right? That yeah, they, like a spray. Yes. Yeah, there is, there is. Okay, there is. but he takes it very seriously. So do you have? We had to move them from our old house to that house. Can oh, you imagine? What? Where are they? How do you have a room that? for Lego? He has a Lego room. Yeah, Lego room. Hey. So is it like? like and when man... we were looking for the house, that was one of the criteria. Like, really? Is there, where is will my le- Lego, Lego room, room go? Door? Do you know what? There still man? isn't, and like. Oh, That's up to him. So He's got to get the lock. I'm not, I'm not getting you a lock. He should get Lego one of those room. things. Like, intruder like, alert. Intruder alert. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone goes in his Lego So room. is it like his kids aren't case. allowed in there. Yeah. yeah. And it's right. full of Lego and the kids aren't allowed in. Oh my but God. But they would trash it. Yeah. yeah. And it spe- he spends like hours and hours What's the latest masterpiece? Um, he's done a Lamborghini. Oh, wow. That moves. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's mad. That moves. <laughs> it actually moves. <laughs> there was the, was there something on I can't remember if it was on this morning or, or something, and they was building the biggest Lego 
masterpiece of all time. Like Dan should do something like a Guinness World. He, he does <laughs> always say that. He's like, I'm Jack's like, don't say I'm that. Like, oh, please don't <laughs> say that. He yeah. does love Lego, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, it's actually quite good to have them into something like that because of Christmas. Birthday. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what he did oh, do, which I thought was so cute. You know, like you get flowers for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Right? Last year, they also got broken, actually. But <laughs> last year, he made me, you can get Lego flowers. Oh. So the whole thing, like oh the stem, God. the flowers oh, yeah. are all Lego. So, like so it took him like hours really to yeah. make. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a little, like it's a reminder of him, like it's that's so really him, nice. Lego is so him. I guess so that's him. quite yeah. therapeutic for him. It's like when people like doing colouring in and stuff. You know, like in the he time. loves colouring yeah. in as well. Yeah. He can spend hours doing that. <gasps> See, I can't. No, I, I don't can't. have the patience. Me neither. For any of that. Like I try and... A colouring in, I'll think it's really good and I'll take myself away and come back and be like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. Oh. But he's brilliant at all that. He's got patience. I have not. Patience. Yeah, I'm the Paul's same. quite good at I've got Lego. a short attention span now. I'm same. Like, on to the next thing. And Even the kids' homework and stuff like that. Yeah. I find it so difficult. I, I, the oh. homework. Do you know what? Right, actually, let's get your opinion on this because I see there was a debate on Loose Women the other week, Frankie Bridge, and it was saying, like, should they scrap um, homework for, un- for under, like, until they go to secondary school? 100%. I agree. Yes. I think a bit of reading. Do you know the homework situation in my house sometimes? It causes so much drama and stress with Nelly. She gets so anxious about it if she hasn't done it. And, and it's awful. Yeah. That they have to go into school. Like, with our busy schedules and stuff, yes. sometimes homework I just is impossible. I always think Same. My daughter's six years old. Yeah, she Same should. I just don't feel like she should be doing homework three I days think a week. A bit of reading is like fair enough. I don't right? mind. Yeah, sometimes. reading and maybe I'm spellings because yeah. they need that. Yeah, spell, I totally get that. Like spelling test homework. on the Friday. Of course, you've got to do your spellings and reading. But I'm not even good at spelling. And some I think I'm probably the only person that's doing homework. It's all online as well. She has to log into really? all these different maths accounts. I just think whilst they're in primary school, what? Why do they actually have to do homework? I didn't have homework at primary school. Did we? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think senior school. I get it. Yeah, yeah cool. exams oh, yeah. and stuff, but not when they're like six. I, yeah, I just think I, I agree with that one. I think scrap the homework for the scrap the homework. And I scrap think it's like as well. It made me think now that we're parents. You kind of like I I was saying about my academy when parent when kids are late, like you teachers get like told off tell tell the kids off yeah. for being late, mm. and it's like. But no, the parents dropped them there. Yeah, so you think that's funny school. as well? Like yeah. they get punished. Yeah. But they were dropped in by yeah. the parents. It's so true. weird, isn't it? Like Nelly, I mem- I never forget there was one week Nelly d- hadn't done her homework right and it was my fault. We hadn't done it. No, and ov- obviously, you know, actually that's my response. But it would have been a busy work week and we hadn't got it done. And I never forget the the drama after that. Like she had to stay in on her break time, miss her break and, oh, and do her homework. Right. And actually, really, you know, it was my like you you say it, that was my. I should have made sure we'd done mm. it. We had. A, I think it's too much pressure. They're so, too young. Since that, she's been so like, "Mummy, mm. we must do it." And if we haven't done it like by a certain day that week, it's like, "No, no, no, mummy." And like it, it's really like stressful. It's really adding stress. I, see, I'm yeah because I'm I've never always been super academic, so I don't ever make. Paul, Rosie doesn't do it just yet, but like I will always say, like if we're late, oh don't worry, darling, we'll do it. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, yeah, but, the, but it older. might come a time where the teachers and yeah. stuff like well, that. That's is what different. happens. It's not Millie. in control. Like I, I try yeah, to have like to quite a laid back. Fault. Yeah, I'm yeah. quite laid back approach to approach it. Approach to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, see, I would be, but now if I think she's going to be she's punished for it, yeah, and yeah. I know that she gets anxious about missing her break, rightly so, like. Like it's, Ella, yeah. Ella lost her black coat. She's only allowed to wear like navy or black coats. Yeah. And I was like, you're going to have to wear this coat. And it was, uh, I think it was like a bright blue one. She was like, I can't wear that. Yeah. I can't yeah. Wear. They I was get like, really precious. No, no, no. Like, you can say it's my fault. I can't find your other coat, but it's yeah. cold. Like, you're going to need a coat. Yeah. I couldn't find it anywhere in the house. Turns out it's at my dad's house anyway. But so I was like, we well, are going to need to go into school with this coat. She was caused such a problem yeah. because she it must was so be scared. How so worried about being yeah, told off yeah. about. A coat that you no. don't even wear. Honestly, it's hard, then, isn't it? But then I remember being at school and being really worried about what yeah, teachers are going to... Like, some, some children I guess are, in a way, I remember being, yeah, like, you would being w- like that. I guess in a way, it's better your child being, like, respectful and... Yeah. Yeah. In you some ways, it's great. Rebel. You don't want them to think, oh, like, don't care, but then... Yeah. And you have to prepare them, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Of course. Anyway, I think that, that was that was so yeah. great. Thank you so much, Jack, for coming on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. Nice to see you, girl. So well, lovely we to have seen you, you know, have we? That was like yeah, the first so nice to have a little catch up. Yeah, yeah. thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you.